So I am making this video for the sake of this world. I have spent, huh, I want to say numerous years, but to be more specific, 15 years or more with severe pain that has been um, There has been some diagnoses, but with mystery. And um, the doctors have been dumbfounded and not been able to figure out my trauma. I've been in physical therapy for nine years, of which I took a year break because um, it was actually causing me more harm than good after a while. I was in uh, physical therapy for eight years where I took a break for the past two years or so, maybe three now. Um, be, and I swear by, I swear by, um, what did I just say? <laughs> I swear by, oh my gosh, I just woke up this morning, so I have no makeup on. I literally threw my hair up and I was so excited about my discovery this morning that I had to make this video and write it down because here I am saying... You cannot eat fried foods of any sort because it causes serious pain. It's unbelievable. I just spent the past three days of my life after like 15 years of excruciating pain in this unusual state of happiness, pain-free, Mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically. And I couldn't understand, I couldn't figure it out. The past three days, I've been sleeping well. I've been walking well. I've been going upstairs with my knee and everything. Like, no pain. I'm like, what is going on here? This is the weirdest. I mean, listen, people. I have to use my hands and arms and whatever to grab things as I'm walking because I'll either half fall over or it's in such I'm in such severe pain that I, I need to take the weight off of my knee or my back or my shoulder or you know my swollen hand fist arm oh see that hurts when I raise my arm um I've been like this for 15 years people yes I, I have sustained injuries there's no doubt uh but physical therapy has helped some of that reduce the scar tissue in my back and in my shoulder because I was um, used to load trucks when I was younger. Hee-haw. I was like a she-haw. I, I thought if a guy could do it, I could do it. And you know what? This is pride. Rebuke that pride in the name of Jesus. Put your pride down. Um, discipline yourself. Humble yourself. Don't be a she -ha. Listen, God created us different, okay? Let men do the heavy work. It's crazy. Yeah, I still, I'm, I, I'm, I feel prideful for having done that. Stupid. Stupid. I was, I was loading huge um, cube trucks with clothes and a hang, from Cintas and grabbing them from the guy, the huge muscular built guy down below, going like this, twisting over and hanging them on the rack and I was doing that over and over are you kidding me and I remember doing that and I was like um I don't know I was in my teens I was somewhere between 16 and and 19 I don't know uh any anyway, any rate and I and I felt like I remember feeling it in my back but at any rate, uh, so there was that. And then later on in years, as me owning a flea market um, and thrift shops and, and doing flea markets and having a little thrift shop here, I used to erect a 10 by 20 tent by myself all the time. Now, my perverted neighbor would always ask to help me, and I'd be like, no, that's okay, thanks. And I really didn't have anybody else to help, so it was just me. So the last time, this was a brand new tent. I gave it away. I, I let the neighbor take it. Um, I was erecting a tent and doing this. See, I could barely lift my shoulder. Okay, so I'll do it this way. But it was with this arm. 
I, as I went like this, I literally hurt. It was all the way up. I had to, I remember I had to push so hard, high up. I wish I could show you with my arm, but I can't go up that high. Anyways, um, as I did it, I heard <laughs> right down my neck. And um, I was like, holy crap. I froze in the air for like 10 minutes. I remember I just, I just stood there like this, like I couldn't move and like I'm slowly letting my arm down. Eventually I made it down to the ground and I literally laid on the cement for like 20 minutes <laughs> and I couldn't move. Um, and it was hard to even get myself down to the cement, but I knew I couldn't stand there anymore. Finally, I made it into my house. I spent three hours on my carpet until I heard ding, 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 neighbor knocks on my door. Oh, you know, your tent's in the street. Holy crap. You know what? Give it, see that guy across the street, Tom, the, my mechanic, go across the street, tell him to come over here and grab it. I can't move. He didn't care that I couldn't move. He could have cared. He's like, really? Are you sure? He's like, Art. I'm like, dude, just do it. And, um, so never seen that tent again. Didn't care. Was glad to give it away. Anyways, I say those things because there are legitimate, um, you know, diagnoses or, or injuries in my body causing certain things. So my shoulder, that's my shoulder and my backstory. Um, but as far as the inflammation in my hands, which this is slightly swollen this morning, not as bad as it used to be, but you can see the difference. See the difference in this hand versus this hand. And even in the lower arm, you can see the difference, the size of this arm versus this arm. Now this, I could tell you for a fact, after sleeping all night, oh, and that hurts to raise my arm right there, which hasn't been hurting for the past three days, ironically. And this is why I'm making the video because I'm telling you about this is because after the past three days of eating really good healthy food, now I'm a, I like to say a pesca vegan, okay, instead of a pescatarian. Pescatarian means you eat fish. You don't eat meat, uh, but I also don't eat like dairy milk or, or things. I do eat eggs as long as I know where they come from, but they have to come from like a farm. And when are you gonna find that? So I almost barely ever eat eggs. And eggs are one of my favorite foods. Every once in a while, I'll break down and, and buy them, but I'll pay extra for them, like five bucks or something, um, because it says cage-free, even though I know darn well they're lying to me, and they cut their be beaks off, and that pisses me off, because you're not supposed to cut a beak off of a chicken. Oh, these people are crazy. Anyhow, so I've been eating healthy lately, and eating nothing but tuna fish in, like, spinach wrap, or uh, red pepper wraps, or healthy gluten-free breads, that kind of thing. Um, like the 12 grain or just whatever, healthy bread. Or like I had, I don't know, even just thin slices of wheat the other day, I, I was okay with. So tuna fish, huge green salads I've been eating, uh, very little dressing. I mean dressing, you know, oil and vinegar or healthy house, house uh, you know, vinaigrette oils house dressing and black coffee no sugar no creamer i i used to take 12 sugars in my creamer uh 12 sugars in my coffee and numerous creamer half and half none of that and this has been the past three days i haven't been eating any sugar at all no candies i've had a couple of those healthy tortilla chips that were gluten-free um but not a lot. Like, I'm not gorging like I used to gorge. And past three days, I'm telling you, I have been soaring mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. I've been doing so well. And then? <laughs> and then? I took this awesome trip to Youngstown yesterday. I had the most marvelous time. You cannot believe these awesome country roads and the experience driving past these, through these, past these houses, through these crunch, country roads. Oh my gosh, the peace and, and serenity. It was incredible. I had the time of my life yesterday. The people that I met and um, I held these little baby goats and um, so much fun. Didn't find the house I was looking for because I really got to get out of this crazy noise infected neighborhood. But at anyhow, on the way back, what did I do? Ah, 
Ah, I was stopped at a restaurant on the way home, and you know all I have is greasy food. I tried to eat healthy, but healthy, greasy, you can't combine health and grease. It just doesn't work. I wish I had the containers to show you. I have this container here, but, um, so I ordered this fish sandwich, and it was, like, a square. I don't know how many fish comes in square sizes, but... That doesn't make a lot of sense to me because fish are not square. <laughs> fish are not square. But um, anyways, it was a square fish patty. And the whole thing was brown. So red flag right there. And um, But the, I poked the inside and it looked pretty healthy on the inside. So anyways, and it came on this huge bun, this Kaiser roll. Don't eat a Kaiser roll. Kaiser rolls are the worst. Lettuce and tomato. Okay, great. So, um, I ordered my lemon and put some salt on it. And then also, I did get these crazy fries. That's what's left of the fries. Did me in. I definitely think the worst, the fish sandwich was worse than the fries. <clears throat> so, I laid, I had the best nap in the afternoon, but I was still so tired, but I felt good. I was a good kind of tired. It was so unusual for me. I didn't know why I was so good, kind of tired. Tired. So I took advantage of it, and I went to bed early. I woke up around 9 o'clock. I still felt really good, but I'm like, 9 o'clock, what am I going to do? I don't know what to do with myself, so I just went back to bed. Stupid. Well, from there on out, I tossed and turned all night. I woke up at least three times to take <clears throat> my dog outside. I could barely walk. Uh, this knee was in so much pain. My hands were in so much pain. This this one particularly, um, like in my shoulder, like I I couldn't lay on it all night long. I, my my I was losing circulation. I kept in tossing and turning because I would lo lose cir circulation in one arm. I turn the other side, I lose circulation in the other arm. Um, now I've been dealing with this for 15 years. Okay, all the time, with very little relief. Um, you know, I will do like heating pads, um, I will do stretches, I will do exercises, but I'm telling you, as God, the Lord above, is my witness, it's food. Food will either help you and heal you, or it will destroy you. Those fat people weren't running around, now listen, I'm kind of fat. I got a little bit of a belly, Okay. I got a little bit of a belly. I consider this to be, I got a little bit of a belly, but I'm not obese. I'm not severely overweight. I am definitely, in my opinion, 27 to 30 pounds overweight, and that should go. But um, I, I can't imagine being 50, 60, 70, or more pounds overweight. You are destroying yourself. Please, because I know you're not getting there from eating salads. I know you're not getting there from eating tuna fish. I know you're not getting there from eating uh, from drinking black coffee. I know you're not getting there from eating healthy snacks like bananas and oranges and grapes and berries and, um, I don't know, whatever healthy snacks and foods you could think of. I know you're not getting that way by that way because that's what I, I eat bananas all the time. Every day I eat bananas. Um, and I'm still fat. Um, occasionally I eat oranges. I just kind of, they make me crazy having to peel them all the time. So, otherwise I'd eat them more. Um, truth be told. But, yeah. And I love blueberries. Um, but every once in a while you break down, you gotta eat that crap food, those crap snacks, you know. Well, you know what? I'm really gonna try from here on out not to do that. Because this is such a testimony. And... Maybe I'll, if I have some time, I'll insert some pictures of what I've suffered or another video of excruciating pain when I could not get out of bed. Maybe I'll put a little clip of that in this video here and show you what I've been suffering. But I'm telling you, uh, my name is Joanne. I live in Buffalo, New York, and I have been ex suffering excruciating pain for years. And I have just been liberated with my knowledge. I've had little bits and pieces of this. I've been keeping notes regarding food. I'm not going to lie. I've discovered it here and there. And I have noticed a reduction of 
on the swelling. But then you see, I'm not that disciplined. I haven't been that disciplined. So, man, I mean, food is the hardest thing to overcome. So, you know, I'll go back to eating this or eating that and tell myself in my head, eating at Anderson's a salmon sandwich is healthy. Well, you know what? It's not because they put it on a Kaiser roll. It's not a whole piece of salmon. It's mixed in with some other patty stuff. God knows what they put in there. And it's not that healthy, Joanne. It's not that healthy world. We need, I need, I'm not even talking to you. Screw that. I'm making this video for myself. I need to eat healthy foods on a continuum and make wiser choices. I need, when I go on those trips, and I usually do, I'll bring some, you know, raw carrots with me or raw green beans because I love raw, the raw green beans are like my favorite food in the whole world. I need to cut them up and go and put them in a package. Celery, I love celery, cut up celery, put it in a package and go. I'm giving myself ideas right here. Normally I'll just take a couple of those things and put it in a baggie and take it with me. I didn't bring any of that with me yesterday. Although I will say I was wise enough to bring a vitamin water with me, one of those XO drinks or whatever they are. Um, and water, straight up water. I drink tons of water every day. I wish I had my little gallon jug I drink every day. It's, I have one like this big and then I have another one that's like this big. So definitely water all the time. Soda pop doesn't even come to mind. Like I, I haven't even thought about that in years. You know, re rot your teeth out and all kinds of stuff like that. In fact, my sister did rot te teeth right out of her head. Then she got dentures and she's still drinking Pepsi. Oh my gosh, it's the self-discipline thing. You guys, can we overcome this together? Can I get your help to help me, encourage me to overcome this? Because you know what? I'm, try I'm making this video not only as a reminder to myself to not eat those foods and to overcome those bad foods and make a better life for myself, but I'm really doing this to share my experiences with you to help you overcome. I mean, please, for Pete's sake, I've walked with the cane people. Um, I just turned 50. I've been suffering this. It started like right around when I was 29, 30, no, 30, 29, 30 years old, because that's when I bought my first um, property, properties. And uh, they were rehab. So every time I swung a hammer, my hand would swell up like a fist. Um, as Jim would say, you're, that's not a hand, that's, or that's not a hand, that's a foot, he'd say. Um, oh, so tired now, I just jacked myself up and I'm all excited about this new knowledge, even though I've had bits and pieces of this knowledge for years, um, I've really proven it to myself for the past three days, and now the fourth day eating this one-time junk food on the way back traveling. It did me in, folks. You don't go three days super healthy, being able to fly around your house, doing all kinds of landscape in your yard, going up and down the stairs, carrying your tomato plants and whatever, your exotic plants, downstairs from upstairs, out into your yard, and setting everything up pain-free and healthy to I can barely walk. Unless there's a serious underlining issue, which is, hello, can I say it again, folks? Food! Greasy, crappy food. That's it. I'm done. Thanks for watching my video. I really hope I've helped some people. Please, please, let's do this together. Thank you for watching.